Hi there, and welcome back to Organize with Grace podcast. I'm Grace Ramon, your host. Thank you for joining me. In this episode, I wanted to share a Facebook Live that I did in a new group I started called Organize Your Finances. While it's a wonderful thing to declutter and organize our stuff, I feel that it is also important to get our finances in proper order. Other than paper organization, personal finances is also another passion of mine to share with the world with what I have learned so far about it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's any parts of the Facebook Live that you've enjoyed or have any comments about. Or if you would like to join the group, you can find us on Facebook by looking up Organize Your Finances. I will also provide a link down below on the comments section of this uh, podcast, or I guess they call it show notes, and you can join as well that way. So enjoy. Thank you for listening. So today is day two of Why Bother With Budgets. And I have got my outline ready here, and I wanted to share something with you, something specific, um, which is, or which are, vision, roadblocks, and decision. And I'll explain to you each part, because yesterday, well, first let me reintroduce myself. My name is Grace Ramon, and I am a social worker turned professional organizer for your personal finances and paper. And it's September 1st. It's a great day to start something new. And yesterday for day one, I told you a story about going on a road trip and that the most important item that you need is a roadmap to your destination. Otherwise, you'll be driving around and kind of lost, well, not kind of, really lost. And it will be frustrating. It's going to feel really hopeless where you think that you are just going in circles um, when you don't have a roadmap, when you don't have that GPS, um, the navigation on in your computer or in your car because you don't have that destination to go to. Being lost really takes the fun out of a trip right? And we've all experienced it. And it really leaves you kind of emotionally and physically drained, trying to find your way, right? So your brain kind of starts to feel foggy. And and you're going to feel like you're really going in circles and you may be. And isn't this, isn't it that way many a times the way we treat our finances? I believe that it's time that we do something different and that is pick up a roadmap and that roadmap is creating a budget. Now we're going to actually talk about creating one tomorrow, but today I wanted to talk about the fact that we need to be able to see, we need to be able to see the road that we're traveling, right? We need a proper perspective when it comes to our personal finances. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Oops, and I dropped my paper. One moment. Don't get too stuck. So the first word that I wanted to bring up was vision. Don't get too too stuck on that word because um, all I want you to think of is how you are, um, how you see your financial life looking today and then how you would like to see it, maybe five years from now, 10 years from now. So start thinking about that. And sure, we can save money and we can pay our debts for the sake of doing those activities. But I believe that we have to know why we're doing it. 
right? What for? Is it to feel emotionally at peace? Knowing that your financial house is in order? Is it to be able to buy the things that you want for yourself without feeling the stress or without feeling like you have to use a credit card to do it? And now we're going to get into the whole credit card thing. Don't worry. We're, we've got lots to talk about when it comes to, to money, to personal finances. But what I'm talking about his, here is what impact not only on your financial life, emotionally, spiritually even, and relationally, what type of impact do you feel that it will have for you if you were to get your finances organized, if you were to get your finances in order? So for me personally, I, I feel at peace knowing that I have a savings for emergencies. And for years, I did not have this. I did not have any kind of savings. Also for me, my husband and I don't need to fight about money. And it's just simply feels better overall. And I say these things not to, um, you know, not to brag, but I say these things so that you can see that what I'm going to show you as far as being able to get control of your personal finances, that it works. It worked for me. And I want to show you that it can work for you too. So perspective with our, when we have a, when we don't have a proper perspective with money, with personal finances, it can be, uh, we can have lots of roadblocks up ahead. So in our journey um, on the on this road trip to our you know personal finance freedom, there can be some roadblocks because of what um, of our uh, perspective that we don't have, proper perspective that we don't have. Here's one: you may have heard this, or you may have said it yourself, and which is, I'm I've never been good in math. Therefore, I'm not going to be good at budgeting or it's the fear, right? If it's the fear of the unknown, if you were to change your ways about how you look at money, well, what's going to happen? What's it going to be like? Or it's that certain stress that you know in your heart that you have to take a look at and focus in on your personal finances and that there's there needs to be some changes made. And also, emotionally, when you are uh, stressed out with money, I mean, it does, it can cause a lot of depression. You know, it can cause a lot of hopelessness many a times. But if you have a written plan, if you have a roadmap, these things can be turned around to be beneficial for you. And so I wanted to let you know these things because a lot of times we are our own. Let me get to my next point. Let me, let me do this properly here. Speaking of roadblock, guess what? Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a hint. Guess who the biggest roadblock is to your financial freedom? you because we can think of all types of reasons not to have a budget not to get started on our budget and get our finances organized we can think of all these things that we you know that that will convince us we can convince ourselves not to get started right and again i am saying this because of experience. I'm not singling you out or anything. So with these, with gaining a more proper perspective, and I, as your facilitator for this group, would like to provide you with information so that you can have a proper perspective about money and about your personal finances, and that you can begin to be on this road to uh, to more 
uh, financial peace, freedom, stability, without no, with no longer feeling lost, with no longer feeling like, wow, I am, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. At this time, it's it's decision time, right? It's decision time. It's and it's up to you. You know, I am here for you um, as a resource. I am you're here. We're here for each other as um, as support. And again, I really, I, I just, I started this group so that it'll be a, um, a a community where we begin to really support one another and encourage one another without any judgment of where we've come from. Um, as far as where we are with our finances. And I did post something um, that Dave Ramsey said that, you know, what, what um, now I'm forgetting, but I'm gonna repost that. But he talks about the fact that everybody has made a mistake or another with money and you can get up and try again. And so, the final thing I wanted to talk about was decision. So we've talked about vision, possible roadblocks to our financial freedom. The decision is up to you and you can make the decision now because you can go on, you know, you can definitely go on doing the same thing that you've been doing after knowing that there is another way to do it better. Um, that is your freedom to continue with what you know. And you can keep driving on your road trip and hoping that you get to your just destination. But instead of just kind of, you know, hey, uh, let's hope, let's hope that we get there. Or instead of winging it, why not get on the proper roadmap? Why not take the proper steps? And that's what I'm gonna show you tomorrow. And it's called the seven baby steps. And I'll introduce that to you tomorrow. And, but for now, I, I totally get it though. I, I do get it that life happens. I have a two-year-old and he gets to dictate the day, most of the day. And there will be times when it's much harder to stay focused, to stay committed, to, to getting this budget, um, to, to forming this budget, to following through with a budget. But I hope that you stay with this group because this is where it's at. This is where the support is. And this is where we can encourage one another. And this is where we can um, share our wins, right? And so tomorrow, that step-by-step -step framework, I'll show you, I'll, I'll talk about it. And it's the, it's the framework, the seven baby steps um, that I myself have gone through um, in order to pay off my, um, my debts. And I had crazy debt, remember yesterday, I told you back in 2005, $46,000. And maybe to some people, it's like, oh, that's not bad compared to blah, blah, blah. But it was really bad for me because I couldn't find, I, I, at that time, it was so hard for me to visualize how in the world am I ever going to pay this off? And, um, but by being on a plan, it was possible and it's possible for you too. So tomorrow, I'm going to show you that. And that is the framework that I follow if you were to work with me as uh, your personal finance coach. And this is the, uh, the end of what I wanted to talk about. So um, I got a couple of people watching, I'm so excited. Um, and and uh, let me know if you have any questions right now. But if you don't, that's okay. Um, I, you know, you can message me later. And what I would like for you to do tonight, or if you'd like, if you have time, is that, you know, just kind of visualize, dream a little bit about your future self, your financially free future self. What kind of things do you think you'll be doing? What kinds of, um, what kinds of uh, uh, hobbies or what types of, what 
where would you be spending your time? Um, it's good to have that type of a, you know, vision written down. And so for tomorrow will be the final day. It'll be day three. And then we'll actually be talking about forming that budget, right? And how to start. And so um, if you would, for you ladies who are in this group already, please tell someone about it who you feel would be uh, benefit from the things I'm talking about from this group and have them join or forward them this, uh, this live. And let's get on this conversation about personal finances. Let's get comfortable about asking questions and getting educated about it and getting motivated to pay off that debt and to get on a budget. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you found value in this podcast or learned something new, please leave me an iTunes review and I would, one, greatly appreciate it. And two, it will help other women like you find this podcast easily. Thank you once again for listening and I'll talk to you soon.